just gonna be a quick video that complements a little bit uh, the video I did la last week about Switzerland for software engineers. I forgot to mention a few things, which I think uh, are very important. And uh, I will try to treat them in today's video. And uh, these things are uh, the market in Zurich. When I mentioned that uh, Zurich can be great if you want to work in big tech, what I meant is actually the salaries, first of all, because you can get really high salaries, the level of the US, but also it depends on what exactly in big tech you're going to do. Let me explain. If you work in big tech, uh, but you want to work as a product engineer on some backend systems, um, on infrastructure, on doing something, let's say, normal, either infrastructure or product side, then Zurich might be a bit hard because uh, the only company with a lot of product and infra teams in Zurich is Google, which has 4,000 engineers. And so that's, that office is going to be like any other big tech office anywhere in Europe or in the world. But most of the other uh, big tech companies are mostly doing research and development in Zurich. This means that if you want to work in research and development, then Zurich, yes, can be amazing. Uh, but if you are not in that uh, niche, let's say, then it can be a bit complicated to get a job in big tech because interviews are not going to be just lead code. They are going to be domain um, specific interviews in a lot of cases. And you will not even reach the interview stage if you don't have a specialist profile that matches that uh, team that you are interviewing for. So you're not interviewing just for the company in the case of Big Tech Zurich, but oftentimes you're interviewing for a specific team. So let me give some examples. For example, a lot of companies in general in Zurich have uh, computer vision teams. This is because uh, ETH, the university, the technical university in Zurich, one of the best in the world, is a leader in computer vision, robotics, virtual reality, all these things that include signal processing and um, machine learning applied to, let's say, video or audio or movements, even mechanical engineering. In this sector, the university is really excellent. There are professors, big departments, a lot of startups, and therefore uh, Big Tech also has a big presence for these specific teams. For example, Meta had his Oculus team in Zurich, and now they're doing all their virtual reality and uh, augmented reality stuff in Zurich. Microsoft also had, I think, something related to HoloLens or something like that, but they do also computer vision and virtual reality in Zurich, a lot of that. And uh, Apple too has teams uh, in these areas. I think their special projects uh, team, which I think was doing a lot of self-driving cars as well. I don't know what ended up going, like uh, how that ended up. Maybe they interrupted that, uh, but they also have teams in this area or AI machine learning. So historically, like for example, five years ago or 10 years ago, it would mostly be what I just mentioned, computer vision, virtual reality, robotics. But in recent times, uh, it, it has changed a bit and AI and natural language processing also has become a big part of uh, what you can do in R&D in Zurich because, well, these fields have become more popular, first of all, and Zurich being a very research and development oriented uh, city in tech, uh, has jumped on this. So a lot of teams have expanded in these areas, uh, including Google that has a big uh, research presence in Zurich and also a DeepMind presence in Zurich. Then Meta, as they are a little bit not pivoting, but expanding their uh, metaverse play with an AI play, they are also doing some of that in Zurich. And for example, well, I cannot talk too much about Oracle uh, because I work there. I don't want to get into trouble, but there are other companies also working in this area. Even NVIDIA is also doing something related to that in Zurich. Deep tech, I would say, it's the kind of the keyword for tech in Zurich going forward, in my opinion. This is where uh, it makes sense for a company to pay the extra Zurich salary in order to attract this talent that can work at the forefront of technology in R&D project in deep tech uh, and not just building products with existing technology, gluing uh, uh, together some pieces of existing technologies. Uh, in order to build products and make money. They would do this mostly elsewhere and uh, mostly focus for deep tech efforts in Zurich, R&D and stuff like that. And if you are into AI, for example, that's a new wave and in Zurich it's expanding uh, uh, rapidly. OpenAI, Anthropic, and uh, I don't remember which other company, but a lot of these uh, new AI uh, companies are opening a presence in Zurich. So they will be hiring there and will, it will become a hub for 
uh, AI engineers, let's say. So if you are, want to work in that area, it can be a great city, actually. Keep in mind here, we are talking about really like a tiny percentage of engineers. Not everyone can work in open AI, obviously, or meta research or Google research. So you need to have some sort of uh, differentiator factor. Either you do a PhD at ATH, and uh, this can be a great, excellent career because you can do, you know, PhD students at ATH are paid very well, like 6K, 7K per month even. So you can get a nice salary that you can live comfortably with. And uh, I mean, research can be interesting. PhD at ETH are not short. They are not three years as they are in other European locations. They are more like four or five years. In some cases, even six. They are quite competitive. You need to work a lot when you're doing it, but still better work-life balance than in the US. And um, yeah, during your PhD, you can do internships in these research centers in the city or in the US as well. And after your PhD, you can join one of these research and development labs and uh, have an excellent career, you know, grow normally in big tech. Um, usually you don't even enter as a junior uh, if you enter after um, a PhD. So you can enter as like a mid-level engineer, maybe 200, 250K already, total comp. And uh, you can build up your career as a research engineer uh, reaching 500K or more in Zurich. It can be an excellent choice. Usually, I mean, this is a bit subjective, depends on you if you prefer to build product or do uh, core tech stuff. But in my opinion, it can be interesting. It's interesting to work on these products and do R&D. It's less about shipping features that make money, but it's more about technology. So engineers, in the end, they work with technology. So if the output of your work is technology, it can be more uh, exciting in some cases. At least this was my experience working in both products and uh, tech. Like in Toracle, I worked closer to R&D. And um, yeah, I think it can be rewarding as an engineer and it can make you very high skilled also. If later on, you want to go into a product team, but you have an experience working uh, in advanced stuff um, for big tech, it can definitely serve you well, even if you want to pivot out of that. And especially if you do it in an area like AI, like, uh, you know, as I mentioned, Zurich will uh, invest and grow in the next few years. It can be very worthwhile. What I can also mention is that you can also do that in startups, a lot of deep tech startups in Zurich too. And you can work on them as well if you want to uh, work in deep tech. So these are oftentimes ETH spin-off. And you can work on exciting tech there too. The only caveat here is that you're going to paid much, gonna get paid much less than in big tech. So you will work on similar stuff at the end of the day, just get paid much less. Uh, in these companies, it's a bit like local salaries. Uh, so you can check my other videos about that, but you can expect 100K maybe or even less joining as a junior engineer and maybe 150 or so as a senior engineer. So not at all like big tech, but still enough to get by. And um you can work on exciting tech. I don't like the startups a whole lot because usually they make you work a lot and they don't pay you a lot. So it's a bit abusive in a way, uh, in my opinion. It's much better to work in big tech uh, doing uh, R&D um, because at least you get paid more. You still work a lot, probably maybe the same, maybe even less than in a startup, but you get paid a lot more. And um, I think this equity that startups, especially in Zurich, give engineers are laughable. They will stay paper money for many, many years. And uh, when they materialize, we don't even know how much you're going to get back. So I wouldn't count on that too much. That's just my personal opinion. And uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to say in this video. Sorry for my sunglasses, but there is a bit of sun. So without sunglasses, I would be blinded out. And uh, yeah. So you in the next video, if you want to check out uh, actually big tech roles in Zurich, uh, the fastest way to do that is through Eurotop Tech Jobs, which is my job board. I built it originally from that uh, back in the day when I was targeting big tech in Zurich, I was monitoring all these big tech uh, companies hiring that it took too much time and it wasn't convenient right now. You know, if I were to do that, I could do it just by logging in to Eurotop Tech Jobs and uh, yeah, just filtering for roles in Zurich and I would get all the big techs there hiring and uh, some other companies as well as fully remote companies that pay a lot. And uh, you can also work for these companies uh, in Zurich. And uh, while maybe it's not the best option if you have a fully remote job because Zurich is quite expensive, but it can still be a valid option because uh, it has low taxes so you can get really good taxation and while the cost of living is high if you, your job is fully remote you don't need to spend 12 months in Zurich you can spend maybe there six months and the other six months you spend abroad and it should be fine 
and uh, it can also be something to consider. So I would say if you are uh, in Zurich or you're targeting Zurich and uh, you want to get top paying jobs, I would say log in into Eurotop Tech Jobs. It's just nine euro to register. And you also get the guides that I wrote uh, to help you land these jobs. And then you can just monitor big tech jobs in Zurich and fully remote ones, target both, aim for 100, 150K plus salary and see where you get. Let me know if there is something you want me to talk about in particular. You can check my newsletter, europeanengineer.com to see what I talk about there usually or on my LinkedIn. And uh, you can get some ideas. I can make videos about that uh, as well.